based on the past reactions that Amber's team has portrayed in court, you'd think they were already assured of the win. But all of that changed today after Depp's lawyers completely obliterated all of their claims and outed Amber for who she truly is. What did Depp's lawyers do to the opposing counsel and how could that affect the case? We all know Camille Vasquez and what she's capable of, but no one expected what she pulled in court today with her closing argument. All of her mentions while speaking to the jury were point-blank shots at Amber's chances of winning the case. She started off by exposing Amber's true color to the jury, referencing some of the biggest lies Amber has told the court and backing them up with either documents or recordings. But even with such a comprehensive plan of attack, that was only the beginning for Vasquez. Later down the line, she exposed some of Amber's less prominent lies, like when the actress had openly stated that the divorce wasn't about the money and that she was donating it. However, the jury got to see something entirely different as Vasquez played them a clip from an interview Amber had where she categorically stated that she had donated the entirety of the money, all of which was nothing but a lie. At this point, it was pretty obvious that Team Hurt had started panicking. In fact, you can visibly see the stress on their faces, knowing their entire case just crumbled. Not only does this contradict Ms. Hurt's excuse for not making donations, it contradicts her narrative that she just wants to move on with her life, that she just wants Mr. Depp to leave her alone. Lies. That is Ms. Hurd's narrative. Lies upon lies. There allegedly were all kinds of accusations uh, flying your way when you said all this and then there was a divorce settlement, you got seven million dollars. People were saying this is all about the money, but then you did something that uh, twisted that whole argument. What did you do with that money? Seven million dollars in total was donated to, I split it between the ACLU and Children's Hospital of Los Angeles. ACLU. As if Vasquez hadn't already done enough, Johnny's other lawyer Ben Chu also had a few tricks up his sleeves. Chu took over from Vasquez in giving the closing arguments and boy did he do one hell of a job. While also stripping Amber and her team of every form of credibility, Chu also had them in total disarray. So much so that one of Amber's lawyers even objected to him repeatedly but got shot down by the judge on all occasions. Later, he went on to talk about the kind of person Johnny really is, as they've repeatedly shown the court all through the trial. And at this point, to say Amber's team looked confused and scared would be an understatement. Mr. Depp is no saint, and he has never claimed to be one. He has made mistakes in his life, as we all have. Yes, he has struggled with drugs and alcohol, but you never heard him deny that. We told you that in the opening statement. He owns his flaws. He admits to them. He told you all about them. But he is not a violent abuser. He's not abuser, as Ms. Hurd claims. And he did not and does not deserve to have his life, his legacy, destroyed by a vicious lie. And this is, as Ms. Vasquez said, this is the sixth anniversary of that. I mean, just look at them. It's pretty evident that they know they just suffered a major blow and might end up losing the case. If you're also watching, tell us what else you noticed.